Now, Marilyn, now that we have all this great information about African-American artists and their evolution into the artistic mainstream, <laughs> what do we do with it? Well, I think first you want to purchase a piece of art, something that you really enjoy, something that captures your attention, and then you want to give it a home. Dr. Mary Schmidt Campbell, former executive director of the Studio Museum in Harlem, said that at the most private and personal level, giving an art object a home is the goal of the serious collector. When you bring art into your home, you convey your love of creativity, culture, and tradition. Art expresses the sensual side of life, and every time you stand before an artifact, you commune with the artist. A real collector feels this connection in a deep and abiding way. Okay, but beyond that, beyond the aesthetic encounter that art provides, what makes collecting valuable for the inexperienced art um, aficionado? Well, if I could quote Corrine Jennings of the Kenkalita Gallery in New York, there's a living spirit in a great work of art, she said, and its value is both aesthetic and monetary. But, as Jennings has alluded, if you see art only in terms of the monetary value, you cheat the art and the artists of their perfect communication. A connoisseur with a sensitive eye uses aesthetic rather than economic considerations in acquiring works of art. Economic or investment appreciation may be considered for the long run after the collector has found some aesthetic reason for purchasing a piece of art. You see, Bob, notable African-American artists of long ago and of today have endured struggle, but they persevered. Their story is a color and canvas version of We Shall Overcome, like King and Selma. When you buy the art, you're buying that artist. You're buying that struggle. You're buying that perseverance. You're buying victory. Black art is being purchased by African Americans, some of whom have the means to collect art as well as supporting black artists. African Americans want to make a cultural statement that speaks to their identity in a way that a silk dress or, say, a BMW cannot. Non-African Americans purchase black art, too, because it offers a means to diversify an already established collection. In other words, African American artists hanging side by side with those of Oriental or, say, European perspectives and on and on. You must remember that African American art is a bargain when you compare its price with that of other art. And these new patrons have helped to make black art a marketable acquisition and an investment. Still, it's the kinship, the connection, the life enhancement, the communication, all that goes into the aesthetic value of art, which should be a collector's primary motivation for acquiring it. Then, should a piece of art appreciate over time, that's a plus.